Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, friends of Japanese Prince. I'm Dieter, and welcome for another edition of the video productions by Artelino.com. We sell Japanese prints in weekly online auctions, and that's the reason, of course, why we make these videos. And in today's video, I want to present this wonderful print by a famous artist from a famous series. So um, let's start by showing you the real McCoy so that you get a little bit of a, an impression of the actual size. Don't be confused by, by the colors because, well, the colors here and the colors here are pretty much a little bit different. Uh, you see them best in our auction catalog on Ortolino.com. Um, so what do I want to tell today? Well, I want to first um, introduce a little bit the, the artist, Ando Hiroshige, for those who have never heard about Japanese prints. And afterwards, I want to talk a little bit about this series. The title of this series is Famous Views of 60 Odd Provinces. Then I want to go a little bit into the details of this design. And at the end, I want to show you a book, because there is a book complete just about this famous series, my friends. Well, let's start with the artist, Ando Hiroshige, and I'll show you an image. Okay, well, I think I have to go a little bit back. Well, that was made um, shortly before his death, a so-called um, memorial portrait. It was made by one of his pupils. Uh, actually, I, I, I like the guy. I like especially his, his hairstyle. <laughs> Um, Ando Hiroshige, by the way, born 1797 and he died in 1858. Well, let's go back now um, to this design, which we can offer in our current auction. But I promise first to talk about the series. The title, Famous Views of 60 Odd Provinces. Well, the title is absolutely misleading, an outrageous lie. You would, of course, expect 60 designs. Wrong, my friends. No, it's actually 70 designs, including the title page. And the complete series was first published over three years, from 1854 until 1856. Publisher was Koshimuraya Heisuke. So over three years, um, how was it actually done? I mean, at that time, there was no photography. So uh, did Ando Hiroshige travel as, for instance, Hazuri Kawase, well, nearly a hundred years later? Uh, he actually went to the spot, um, different places in Japan, made sketches, and when he went home, came home back again, well, then uh, he transformed it into woodblock prints. Ando Hiroshige was already, well, he already had a certain age at that time, and well, it would have been a terrible effort, I mean, to travel to 60 provinces and make sketches from the place. How did he do it? Well, um, Ando Hiroshige simply borrowed from other artists. You could also call it stealing. Well, you must know Asian people have a different attitude um, towards copying. They regard it as smart. And Ando Hiroshige, he borrowed primarily from existing travel guides and also partly from the famous manga sketches by Hokusai. The series um, had a very successful welcome in the market, pretty successful, and therefore several more editions, but from the original blocks were uh, brought into the market, uh, printed um, later. There's one thing a little bit unusual. Um, I mean, when, when you design a landscape uh, series, you would normally make it uh, in landscape format and not in portrait format. Ando Hiroshige actually um, had done this before with another series, 
um, one of his Tokaido series, the so-called vertical or upright um, Tokaido. So um, why uh, taking a vertical format for a landscape series? Uh, this has probably one simple reason. It facilitates the so-called binding. Um, okay, and now I have to explain that a little bit. When uh, in old Japan, uh, a print series um, was published, it first came out as single prints. And when it was successful, well, then later it was brought into the market as complete set. That means as, as a book, that means in this case, 70 um, pages and old Japanese prints, um, they were uh, constructed as books by making holes into the left margin uh, in a vertical format, four holes and putting them together with a string. And of course, this is easier when you have four holes uh, compared to a landscape uh, print, which offers only two or three such so-called binding holes. In the next step, let's talk a little bit um, now about um, this design. Yeah? It shows a steep gorge in Bishu um, province. And I want to explain a, a little bit, well, these odd characters, these cartouches. Uh, I'm sure you're fluent in reading old um, Japanese characters. I have to confess, I myself, I'm not, but I have a wonderful Japanese wife and she's capable of doing that. So uh, one by one, here on top right, with you have this cartouche with a red background. Well, this is the title of the series. Then here to the left, that's the subtitle. Um, that's uh, the name of the province, um, Bishu. Well, then up there, this is a censorship seal. And now let's go uh, to the bottom left corner there in the cartouche with the red background. That's Ando Hiroshige's signature carved into the block, not hand um, signed. And well, there, um, bottom left margin on top, it's the date and below is the name of the publisher. Yeah, what I want to mention here in this design, actually, uh, it looks extremely modern. Uh, it's quite astonishing and it's very much reduced to the essentials. It has very little um, shading only up there so that this landscape doesn't make any impression actually of, of a three-dimensional landscape. But this is typical, typical for old Edo prints and uh, typical for Ando Hiroshige. Well, my friends, uh, we've come to the end. I promised you a book. Yeah, I will show it to you. Hiroshige's journey in the 60 odd provinces. Okay, let's um, just take a closer look. It shows all 70 prints um, on the right side, um, the image, and on the left side with a good description. And it was published by Hotel Publishing quite a few years ago. Before I come to the end, something interesting. Ten years after the publication of this series, due to the so-called Meiji reforms, the provinces were replaced by uh, a different administrational uh, regional um, concept uh, the provinces were replaced by prefectures. The Japanese um, had started um, administrational systems in Europe and in the USA, and they reorganized it mainly after patterns they had seen in France and in Prussia. 
Well, and last not least, uh, I want to remind you of the auction. Um, the auction will end tomorrow, April 4. Uh, we are in the year of 2021. And there you can acquire this wonderful print. Uh, the reserve is 900 US dollars, but I think it already has a few counter bits, so you will have to spend a little bit um, more. But it's a very adequate price for a famous design by a famous uh, artist and from a famous series. Well, so much for today. Thanks for watching, and I would be pleased to see you in our auction and maybe for our next video. So goodbye.